you don't deserve to be in our gamer space. You don't deserve to be protected if this is what you're doing. You shouldn't allow it. I don't want someone that writes articles and tries to make money off of this shit in our space. We need to be pushing vulture, just like the all around hidden agendas that he thinks he's being so slick with. I really, what I hate more than anything is that I have to give a fuck about him. A new challenger has entered the arena, ladies and gentlemen, Emily Speens. Never heard of her in my life, but she was all over my Twitter feed this afternoon. I guess she had a live stream where she just melted down about Smash JT. The newest thing is everybody, I guess, screenshotting Smash's videos on his YouTube channel and trying to say that it's not normal behavior, that he's making videos about Alyssa Mercante, that he's too insistent and that he's unhinged and he's a wacko and that it's not real criticism. That's the thing. It's it's so weird when you see these people's defense of that it's not real criticism coming from people that are against them. It's like, okay, there's no such thing as negative feedback in the world of Kotaku or all these modern feminists. So I watched some of these clips that are on Twitter. We're going to look at them again right here in a minute, and I'll give you my feedback. But yeah, video game journalism as of right now is facing a lot of issues. It's more divisive than ever. It's actually pretty wild, especially when you have outlets like I just mentioned, like Kotaku. Also, IGN is pretty guilty of it as well. And a few other websites that are just pushing certain agendas over focusing on games. Right? It used to be about the video games. It used to be about writing real good reviews. Don't you miss like the 90s and the early 2000s where video game websites didn't focus on writing political commentary editorials and trying to push narratives and agendas on you? Yeah, I miss it too. Well, recently there's been a lot of talk about online harassment, especially with Alyssa Mercante playing the victim almost on a near daily basis because people are being very negative towards her. Let's ignore that she exit on herself and pokes the bear quite a bit and says really insufferable things herself, including but not limited to contacting people's wives. But that's a whole different story. But now we have... Emmy Speens joined in the conversation. And like I mentioned, during a recent live stream, Emily Speens talked about what she sees as bullying and harassment with creators, I guess, in the gaming industry. And uh, she's specifically mentioning Alyssa Mercante at Kotaku. Like, she's painting her as a victim. She's trying to say that it's a all-boys club that's attacking females like Alyssa Mercante. The usual stuff that you would expect especially from this type of, I guess, unhinged influencer in the space, that, that they hate men. They literally, these people are on the internet, but they hate men. They hate gamers as a whole, but they make video game channels. Kind of strange how that works. Anyways, Emmy Speen's approach basically... <laughs> was what I would consider unhinged. For somebody that's calling other people unhinged and saying that their behavior is not normal, I think she was a little bit more um, unhinged in her method. So let's go ahead and we're going to take a look at some of these clips I saw on uh, Twitter. She was going back and forth with Smash JT, actually. So let's go ahead and take a look. So here's the first tweet that I saw of the day. And it says, hey guys, now I'm unhinged for covering a story. Also, apparently I'm not allowed to make money, but Kotaku is. And we need to get people like me out of this space because men are bad. The justification some people come up with are beyond wild here. Pretzel logic, hashtag, and Kotaku. So here's a video from Emmy Speens. I'm going to go ahead and watch it for you guys. Let's go ahead and make it big and uh, listen. The chance of not knowing... I would prefer a private DM if someone in my life that I loved was acting unhinged. Like They're still going on about the whole, I would prefer a private DM to my loved one. Uh, uh, you know, if, if someone in my love life was acting unhinged or, you know, the whole, the whole Alyssa Mercante did nothing wrong by contacting Smash's wife argument. So she's literally saying that if she was acting unhinged or if her significant other was acting unhinged, she would like it. If a personal DM was sent. 
it's funny how it works when it's somebody else it's not breaking boundaries but you know damn well if her family or Alyssa Mercante's family was contacted they would be freaking out so let's continue like this man is this is not crit- like critique so apparently all those videos that he has are not critique it's so weird that Alyssa Mercante could misrepresent people. She could write all the articles that she wants about people. She could post all the tweets that she wants. And that's critique. And you know why? It's because it's agreeing in agreement with the views that people like Emmy Speens and that big muscle fucking wannabe on Twitter. I had to stop myself because, you know, if I said what I really wanted to say, these people would cry about it. But let's continue. That he's putting out. It's not good natured. This isn't professional. It's not good nature and it's not professional, but contacting Smash JT's wife was professional. Keep that in mind. It's unhinged. It's unhinged, but contacting Smash JT's wife wasn't unhinged. Having tattoos that say all men are enemies is not unhinged. Acting the way you do, making tweets about white male gamers and hating white men is not unhinged. Let's continue. It's inappropriate. We shouldn't allow it. I don't want someone that writes articles and tries to make money off of this shit in our space. That's the big thing that I don't like right there. She doesn't want people that write articles and makes monies off of it. But she's fine with Kotaku doing it. She's fine with Kotaku's ridiculous editorials and and misrepresentation and agenda pushing and everything. Because again, it aligns with what she wants. And this is called gatekeeping. This is censorship. She doesn't want multiple perspectives multiple opinions she only wants what's in her echo chamber and that's how all these people are like all these little wokies in the gaming industry and all these little precious little snowflakes that are coming into the gaming industry or influencers that don't know any better they, they've always been taught that their way is the only way this girl is probably what like barely 18 19 Fresh out of high school, barely entering college, listening to what her liberal arts professors are teaching them, that critical race theory. She has no idea of the concept of the world and how rough and how mean the actual world could be. She wants it their way. That's that's how they, they all want it. And that's how they've all been raised. And if you disagree, you're a bigot, you're racist, you're transphobic, you're everything in the book but a son of God. We need to be pushing vultures like that out. Yep, gatekeeping. I refuse to play this little game of, oh, oh, she's stalking his family. No, she found it on Facebook where it's readily accessible. I'm sure I... Where it's readily accessible is a private Facebook. I could do it in less than five minutes. She could do it in less than five minutes. Is that that a dox threat? Is that a dox threat? Is it? Oh, oh, Emmy's (laughs) threat. Sorry. (laughs) Emmy's threatening. Shut the fuck up. Like... Yeah, they wonder why people don't like them. Look how insufferable and cringe this young lady is. Act in good faith, right? Act in good faith, which means don't don't upset my Fifi. I'm not saying that. You know exactly what you would want to be done if it were you that were married to someone that was obsessing over someone online. If you had children with that person. Yeah, it's personal. It's because he made it personal. Who made it personal first, Smash JT or Alyssa Mercante that contacted the wife? Answer that question truthfully. They can't. Do you see the shit he writes? He brings up the fact that she's a former sex worker at every turn. That is pointed violent language. Oh, um, he's just stating facts. How could he? I've never heard the term pointed violent language, but no, it's not. The only reason why that comes up as an argument that he uses is because Alyssa Mercante herself made a tweet saying that if she fails in the gaming industry, she'll just go back to sex work. Me personally, I don't give a shit if somebody's a sex work. Make your money. Get your OnlyFans. I've I've never once been like, oh, women aren't allowed to talk games. And if you think that my video is talking about Alyssa or Jessica Cogswell or even Emmy Speens is being anti-feminist or anti-women, it's not. I don't gatekeep based on gender or race or religion. I gatekeep based on how fucking you attack and treat other people. And I say your attitude is what I don't want in the gaming industry. You can have all the free speech in that you want, but I'm not going to cancel you, but I am going to use my mouth 
to talk just like you use your mouth. You could be a sex worker all you want. You could be that all you fucking want. But to say that somebody's unhinged just because they're making videos and articles, to me, that sounds like you're just a little sensitive. It'd be violent. Shut the fuck up. You know why he's bringing it up. You know why he's bringing it up. To discredit her. No. See, the only person feeling discredited is you guys. Nobody cares. And look how melted down you're becoming about Smash JT or, or negative feedback. That's why people are ha hammering at you guys because we know what hurts you guys now. <laughs> That's how it works. Again, it, stuff like this, people like this, they have no concept of how the real world works. And they're getting flamed on Twitter, by the way. Hypnotic. <laughs> Hypnotic with the banger. Laughing my ass off. Who the fuck is this? Ha ha ha. Smash JT says content gold. Corrosion says more or less this. And you can see he shows, uh, a, 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 I guess, a video from uh, Emmy Spins that says creepers can't cope with Kotaku. Why are Smash JT, Kern, etc. so obsessed? Right? You can see she has 31 dislike ratio. And she's just getting fucking bum rushed here audience numbers are not promising 10 percent of audience left negative review <laughs> so uh this girl is pretty much unhinged and you you hate to see it uh it's admirable what they stand up for but it definitely nobody at this point is buying any of this crap we're all tired of it you can see uh she's doing the same don't talk shit about others goes and talks about others exactly only they're allowed to talk about people. Only they're allowed to say negative things and not be labeled unhinged. <laughs> she seems normal. Is she reporting or screeching? She makes Fran Drescher sound normal. Our space, her space should be a padded room. That's fine and all, but what triggers me is her holding that mic like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can see they're getting completely obliterated in the comment section. And again, like I said, people are tired of modern feminists and, and wokies and stuff like that. That's why you see this stuff trending upwards. And their only defense is, oh, it's a grift. And, you know, these guys are scumbags and yada, yada, yada. And, you know, this argument between her and Smash continued, like, all morning. All morning. And you like to see it, honestly. Um, here's another tweet. Right here. Uh, and uh, Smash just completely buried her, to be honest. He says, uh, my favorite part is when you can literally hear her own brain telling her what she is saying is not a good idea. This is what I've been worrying about. They come into our hobby and then try to gatekeep us out of it. F out of here, bish. So let's look at this, uh, this segment. No, you don't deserve to be in our gamer space you don't deserve to be protected if you don't deserve to be protected what what's that supposed to mean honestly uh you don't deserve to be in our gamer space you don't deserve to be protected does that mean smash jt deserves to be doxxed because of the videos he makes does that mean he doesn't deserve to have anybody backing him up i don't know who who's sounding unhinged here Ladies and gentlemen, I need to, honestly, I'm asking that question. Who's sounding unhinged here in that regards when, if this when you're is... thinking about people uh, attacking others uh, and being unhinged and, and not normal behavior to say that you don't deserve to be protected? What does that imply? Uh, honest question. Honest question. Uh, and uh, he thinks... you could see she continues on. Uh, I guess Alyssa Mercante Defense Force, who, by the way, Alyssa has reblocked me again. Pretty fucking funny. Um, let's watch this clip. Just like the all around hidden agendas that he thinks he's being so slick with. All around hidden agendas that he thinks he's being slick with. What about y'all's hidden agendas? What about Kotaku's hidden agendas that they think they're slick with? What about their political SJW commentary nonsense? Oh, that's right, because. That's the only kind of opinion and commentary that's allowed with you gatekeepers. That's exactly what it is. And you can see she's just spitting venom and vitriol. Hardcore. 
I really, what I hate more than anything is that I have to give a fuck about him. What I hate more than anything is that I have to give a fuck about him. That is just the, uh, the cherry on fucking top with this whole situation, honestly. That's, that's the cherry on top, and that's how you know that you're affecting them and getting to them. Again, I've been covering this stuff loosely, and it's not a pile-on. It's not a he-man, woman-haters club. It's this infection that these people are the ones attacking gamers first. These are the ones that are poking the bear. These are the ones calling people with opposing opinion unhinged. And they're absolutely fucking nuts. Smash JT ain't raising his voice. Yeah, I raised my voice my last at Listen Mercante video because I was asking her to do the right thing to apologize to Smash JT's wife. Well, she hasn't. She just doubled and tripled down. So, Emmy Speens, guys. <laughs> the new challenger in the arena of this whole... <sighs> what would you even call it? Gaming journalism debate. I, I guess. I don't know. She doesn't seem too bright. Again, probably really young and dumb and has never really experienced the real world for herself at this point. Has never really been challenged. When they get told no, they cry and they blame it, you know, they blame it against men and they want to use video games, strangely enough, for their political outlet. And, and I don't understand why. <laughs> but I saw this on my feed. I wanted to talk about it. I just thought it was really interesting. Let me know your thoughts down below. Love to hear what you guys have to say. Subscribe if you haven't.